From our perspective, the, the main effect on the new lending environment is that the CMBS market has not picked up again. I mean, w when we look at the, at the banks who withdrawn from the market, um, a ABN AMRO was extremely active, Barclays, Morgan Stanley. Um, I mean, s some of them don't even exist anymore. And, and so I think room for, for uh, the, the, uh, the pension funds and the insurance made the fact that, that um, basically h how uh, whether a, a bank or an institution can fund depends on their means to refinance. And so since the CMBS market, I mean, we've seen big trans some big transactions and everybody, before the Vitos transaction, everybody says now the market's going to pick up again. Same with Chiswick Park, but nothing came afterwards. And so that, from our perspective, is the main reason for that. Then in terms of, um, uh, well, in terms of the, the new regulatory environment, that's uh, the, the pension funds, they're not regulated. I mean, they are under the authority of the, of the Ministry of Economic, but they, 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 ho they have no... Um, minimum capital requirements. They have no no uh, money laundering rules, and so um, it, it makes it even more difficult for traditional banks to compete. Okay, good. Um, Christoph, in, in terms of the regulatory regime, you you thought that the the announcements on Ball Three were were broadly broadly positive. Um, how do you how do you see that developing? I, I think that has um, created a significant shift in, in the availability of liquidity from banks. Uh, and that's, that's the only change it's made. You know, people have not all of a sudden discovered that they could lend 25% LTV at 85 basis points. That, that's not going to come back again. At least we hope. Again, I don't have a crystal ball, but that would scare me. Um, so I, I think that that's the the key driver, and we've you know we've we've started touring bank lenders and alternative lenders since um, we started the business in January, uh, and when 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 we identified roughly 10 billion euros uh, of debt finance available from bank lenders, that was before MIPIM, and we came back from MIPIM and we said, mm, do we raise that to 14, 15 billion? Because increasingly, those people who were active through a, an originate-to-distribute model um, have sold down their books. You know, people who had, uh, you know, Citigroup had 10 billion euros uh, of, of commercial mortgage loans unsecuritized in early 2008. They've probably got 500 million now. So they've sold down a lot of that. Um, and, and their key, key issue so far was... How do we refinance? What's the cost of liquidity, and how much equity, how much, um, how much uh, maturity uh, matching do we have to do on our long-dated uh, loans, whether you know commercial, whether aircraft shipping or real estate? Uh, and with the with the collateral rules having changed on on the uh, on the liquidity ratio calculation, that has freed up liquidity. It hasn't freed up equity for sure, but it has freed up liquidity, and we've seen increasing pressure from those players. Uh, and who again have decided, you know, don't not to have a massive origination team throughout Europe, but you know, still be based in London, originate larger tickets because that's where it makes sense to use only a handful of people, uh, and use a large balance sheet to support business with higher margins than a fan brief um, lender. Um, but 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 then uh, with a view to making a prof building a profitable business on what is their core strength, which is quick underwriting, large tickets and distribute if you can uh, in a given time frame. Um, so that, in that respect, regulation has, uh, has drawn liquidity back into our, our market. Uh, I, I think um, I, I hear what you're saying about uh, pension funds being um, documentation aggressive lenders. Um, in the French market, there's, there's still uh, banking regulation that prevents from the origination of credit for non-banks. So, you, the, the, the alternative lenders still need the banks to originate, um, monitor the client, um, provide hedging, uh, manage and hold the bank accounts. So I, I don't see such a fierce competition, uh, but clearly more um, complementing one another, whether in maturity. You know, insurance companies like to deploy for eight to nine years. Banks don't like it at all. So there's a, there's a natural combination between these um, two populations that I think will play.